So now I have my weaving all the way up to the top. I'll be honest with you, this is the second time I did it. The first time I messed up because I pulled that top part in too much up here and it made all my other strings get really loose. So when you're getting up towards the top part, be extra careful that you're not pulling that string too tight because it will make really loose all your strings down here. So anyway, I tried hard not to do that on the second time. If they're a little loose, that's okay. I just kind of scooch them back to where they're supposed to go. No big deal at all. But if they get really loose, then it's going to be kind of challenging. Now when I'm done, I'm just going to wrap this around a bunch of times to kind of hold its place for me so it doesn't become loose. And then I'm going to tie it. So I'm going to create a loop, put that through the loop, and pull. I'm going to do that a bunch of times until I'm sure that string isn't going to come off. I think I'm going to do it three times. Now when you're done, you can cut off all your extra strings. Got my scissors here. I can cut off this loose part. And then we're ready to go to the yarn cart to get a colorful string. Now this part is going to be pretty similar to other weavings that you've done. We're going to go over, under, over, under, over, under all of our threads. Now the stick weaving is a little different because some of your threads are high and some are low depending on whether or not it's wrapped over or under the branch, that doesn't matter. We're just going to weave them all the same, and once we get a little bit of weaving done, they're all going to become on the same level, if that makes sense. So to get started, we have to tie our colorful yarn onto one of the white strings. So I like to start over here on the bigger end, put it under my first white string, Create that little loop, put it under through the loop to create a twisty area, and then pull it tight. Now on the long end, I can put my needle. If you want to tie your needle or your yarn to your needle, that's fine, but I usually don't do that. I just hold it in place as I'm weaving. And then we're going to go over. I'll cut it. Okay. I'm going to start under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. It doesn't matter if you start over or under, as long as you stick with your pattern once you start. Over, under, over, under. And it's a little bit trickier than weaving on our cardboard looms, but if you really focus and kind of use your fingers to help guide your needle, you can do it. All the way down here to the end. Another thing I want to tell you, if you mess up your pattern a little bit, like if you accidentally go over two of them, people aren't going to notice. Okay, so don't be really freaking out a lot about mistakes. I have so many mistakes on my first one that I've done, but no one has noticed them at all. Now, if you make a lot of mistakes, then it's going to start getting confusing for you. So, a couple mistakes aren't a big deal. Pull it all the way through, and then I'm going to push it with my fingers up to the edge of my stick. Now, I'm going to come back from the other side, and I have to do this row the opposite way that I did my first row. So I ended under this white string right here, so I'm going to start over. And I'm going to zoom in so that you guys can really see what I'm doing. I'm going to start over, under, over, and under. I'm doing the opposite of what I did last time. So I just look right above it. If I'm not sure if I need to go over or under, I look at the blue string. It's over up here, so my needle goes under this time. Keep on 
going. A little tricky right there. I want to pay close attention. Use my fingers to help my needle. And over this one. Under, over, under. And then whew, pull it through. I've almost come to the end of my blue thread, so it's time to tie on a new color. The first couple rows are the trickiest. Once you kind of get a few rows done, it starts to get a lot easier to see if you need to go over or under. I also had to kind of occasionally fix my warp strings if they started moving around on the loom. So I just move them with my fingers like this. Also, there are a couple places in my weaving where I've messed up. I went over, under, over, under, over, over, under in some places and you can't even notice it. So this kind of weaving, like we said, we have to be flexible. If you make a mistake, it's not a big deal. You just have to figure out how you're gonna keep on weaving to fill up more of your loom with yarn. So mistakes are not a big deal at all. I've got my new color. I'm going to the end of my blue string. I'm tying them together with any type of knot that I can figure out. I'm doing a square knot. And then I'm gonna to go to the end of my new color, put on my needle and keep on weaving.